What up? It's your boy King Dow two two five coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the kingdom. Red pill. You know what I'm saying? And I like this out here on social media platform for men thinking about men's health and mental health. Men should never be the focus of the world. That's what the world say. But listen, when it comes from a woman, I've been saying this shit on so many of my videos. I also said on some of my videos, it's com it coming from man, just white noise to a woman. This shit had to come from a woman. Now, I've always said that women create the reality that they despise. Now, if toxic masculinity existed, it stems from corrupt femininity. I coined that phrase. Remember that. Do y'all agree with this? Now, most of this stuff this woman saying, I agree with. But some of this shit, I don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? Grain of salt type shit. Woman says you can't trust a man's mother when you first meet her, and this is why. I'm going to run it first, and then I'm going to do my commentary when I run it back the second time. Let y'all see. There used to be a time where meeting a man's mother for the very first time was deemed very special, and he saw you as the one. Oh, honey, but they have taught us women the wrong thing for so long and we need to fucking wise up and start seeing this shit for what it is. The way that a man treats all his romantic partners is a reflection of how his mother treats herself and how she allows other men to treat her as well. Just because you meet his mother doesn't mean shit. Do not trust her when you first meet her. And trust me, she's going to be on her best behavior. She's going to be fake, phony, and she's going to size you up to see if you're anything trifling like she is. Or if you're sweet and you can be played because she has trained her son to use and abuse and play good women. And she will often team up with that toxic ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-baby mama that's a piece of shit like she is. I'm treating you like you're garbage because she knows you're a better woman than she is. Hmm. Yeah, I heard what that lady had to say, so I'm going to run it back and get my commentary on... Um, there used to be a time where meeting a man's mother for the very first time was deemed very special. See, this is the part I agree with. Man, listen, I wish I could go into great detail about my, you know what I'm saying, past, you know, I sit here and say my numbers is three, three digits and you wouldn't believe me, but fuck it, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I know my past. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I know it, it chick not me, my mom. Like, if my number's up in the three digits, I'd say about two, three of them ever met my mom. That's serious relationship shit. Almost married shit. Know what I'm saying? My children, I am a single father. Bro, I wish I could give up my. You know what? Fuck, I'm put on my stats. You know what I'm saying? To show you I'm, what I'm saying is true. See, I'm a single father. 19, had a, a daughter, raised us since I was 19. Me, by myself. So when women complain about being single mothers, I know how hard it is. But I don't have no real sympathy for them because I've been through the same shit they've been through. But I've been through it as a man. Women get way more help than a man will. The world looks at a man, even as a single father, like, oh, uh, you shouldn't have had that baby. You need to do what you're supposed to do. Don't fucking come around here asking us for no goddamn help. Deal with your situation. Your... No bullshit, I'm telling you. So as a single father, right, my daughters did not realize how much of a male 304 their father was. Because, shit, they only met one, two women. One, two women. One, two, three women. And that's why I be hard on women. Y'all, every, it, like, women tend to get in a relationship and they always, every new dude they meet, meet their kids. Every new dude they meet, they meet their kids. Nah, bitch, uh -huh. you ain't worried enough to re meet my kids and mama. <laughs> what? Are you serious? I thought we were just fucking. Are you like, no, nah, son. That's another thing about, like, I've always been honest with women and direct, respectful, 
Man, I wish I could tell you how. No, fuck you. You would have considered me a Pookie in a Ray Ray. I was a 19 year old dude with a baby, still staying with his mama, and didn't have a car, and wouldn't give your ass no money. And still, numbers, I feel like my three, my triple digits is like prawn star numbers in my for my for my stats. Cause I ain't no way I was supposed to ever get no cool. You hear me? I mean, my three digits is like four digits on the real because like uh 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 a dude who stayed with his mama and don't got no car and he definitely ain't gonna give you no money and he 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 still out here throwing that shit around like a champ. My shit was context. You know what I'm saying? I stayed with my mother because I was a single father and I needed a, a, a feminine influence to help me raise my daughter. You wasn't going to get no motherfucking money from me because it was for my daughter. And at fuck off, uh, I just didn't see a purpose of having no whip. And the bitch was always just coming to my house. You know? That's neither here nor there, whether you believe me or not. But I said all that to say this. All that I did, all these women I had contact with, only it was few and far between ever met my mother. Do you understand me? Now let's get to the part where I agree with this lady. Oh, and he saw you as the one. Oh, honey, but they have taught us women the wrong thing for so long, and we need to fucking wise up and start seeing this shit for what it is. The way that a man treats all his romantic partners is a reflection of how his mother treats herself and how she allows other men to treat her as well. I 100% agree. Children absorb what they experience as youth. So how his mother or father or whatever, that's why we always argue, you know, if you're going to have a child with that person, stay with that person. You know what I'm saying? So you don't need to, he shouldn't have to experience you in multiple relationships and seeing how you deal in multiple relationships. Like, because that's how he going to take, or he or she, whatever child, they going to take, well, that's how I'm supposed to deal in my relationship. So if you got an aggressive, uh, ABUC relationship, then that's the kind of relationship they're going to seek. Just because you meet his mother doesn't mean shit. It don't mean shit. Like, even the, the few ones who met my mom, that don't fucking mean I was about ready to get married. Do you hear me? That just meant it was a serious relationship. I ain't no, oh, it was one step away from engagement. Yeah, you gotta meet Big Mama for that. <laughs> you gotta meet Big Do Mama. Do not trust her when you first meet her. And trust me, she's gonna be on her best behavior. She's gonna be fake, phony, and she's. Do not trust her. I would agree 100% to because a lot of dysfunctional, I don't wanna say dysfunctional. It's an imbalance because a lot of families don't have fathers around, so they don't have that balance. So a lot of single mothers tend to raise their children, specifically their sons, to be their ideal man, right? So when that ideal man that they envision for them in this unnatural, fucked up ass bond that they create, when they grow up, and go out there into the world, they have issues because in their mind, I created this ideal man. So just like this other chick taking my man and she ain't worthy of it. Like I know y'all, man, that's, you lying, King. This ain't no shit I experienced. This is just shit I observed from the newer generation of single mothers. Like, my peers and lower, my parents, our parents, even though they they were the first generation single mothers, they ain't do no shit like this. 
I can sit here and tell you how it's different from the old single parents, the single parents. My mom was in two relationships. Two relationships. You know what I'm saying? I can say she was a single parent because my father passed her husband first relationship when I was 10. And her boyfriend, I don't consider that was, you know, a two-parent relationship because that was her boyfriend. But she was with this dude for 30 years. Two people. How many of y'all can say that now that my children only seen me around two men their whole life? You'll be a goddamn liar. Any new nigga you get, they new daddy. Going to size you up to see if you're anything trifling like she is. Yep. Or if you're sweet and you can be played. Because she has trained her son to use and abuse and play. See, that's what I'm talking about, the training. They not going out here saying, son, this is what you're going to do. What they doing is they setting up improper examples. The training is coming through me living through this shit. Now I'm just doing this because this is how my mama is. That's how the training go. So, yeah, I know women who think like that, too. Ooh, she too sweet. I'm going to take advantage of her. Man, I used to. I, I, I lay down law when it comes to certain shit like that. Man, I'm going to tell y'all this one story. I love my mom. Shout out to my mom, right? So, I was getting serious. I, I, I was this is my wife. You know, that's how I see this guy because, you know, you met my mom. You know what I'm saying? She first met my mom. She, my mom asked her for something. Like, don't you ever ask her for shit. Do you hear me? You ask, for, you ask me, and then I'm going to discuss it with Oh, man, don't do that. I don't want you to put no pressure on nobody I'm in a relationship with. Now they feel like they obligated to do you. I want child relationship to grow organically. I don't know. I don't want nobody taking advantage of my mom. I don't want nobody taking advantage of my nobody relationship. Don't know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, good women. And she will often team up with that toxic ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-baby mama that's a piece of shit like she is. I'll yep. treat you like you're garbage because she knows you're a better woman than she is. So when I say women create the reality that they despise, that woman was talking about women. She wasn't talking about daddies, uh, uh, absentee fathers. She was talking about women and how they raise their children and their sons. And these sons grow up to be the men y'all say ain't shit. One big piece that's missing from all that equation that y'all keep fighting. I, I can do this shit myself. I don't need no man. I'm my man daddy. The one missing equation in all this is the daddy. These issues that she's speaking of don't necessarily exist. Do not exist when the daddy around. That's when mama has 100% control to dictate how they raise their children. Like without father's influence, like you need that balance. I, as a single father, will tell you, raising a daughter, I never said, I am mom and daddy. Don't you give me no shit on Mother's Day because I understand the importance of my daughter, how it affected her not having her mother around. I know how it affected me as you not having my daddy around. So y'all niggas out there know all, all, my, all my grandkids' daddy. Y'all niggas know I be out here looking out for y'all, even though I don't fucking like half y'all niggas. Looking out for y'all as fathers to be in y'all kids' life. So y'all niggas need to realize that and do what y'all supposed to do. Like, fuck that. I've been through that shit. I had my baby mamas keep my kids away from me. I did all that. Well, what am I talking about? Hit that like, subscribe, and become part of the team.